And guys, this place is absolutely deafening right now. What do you expect, Michael? It's Shawn Michaels. Sometimes we show up at hotels in different towns at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Mr. McMahon's there with his trainer heading to the gym. The physical embodiment of success. The man's got grapefruits the size of small planets and has to feel like a billion dollars stepping into the ring amidst his own creation. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Devastating elbow. Oh. Oh, nasty impact. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. Oh, the referee better get a hold of things. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, I'll try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? Big backdrop. Cut buster! He wants to do this in the ring. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. Oh, what a slam. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. But I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. Do what you gotta do to maintain the advantage. Backbreaker flawlessly executed. And it's Mr. McMahon with the reversal. Breaking the rules. It's not looking good for Shawn Michaels here. Oh, man. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. Yeah, he's a superstar that can flip the switch and get after you. Oh, man. Suplex! Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. Serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Now it's Mr. McMahon on his heels a bit. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. 
Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance for him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. Ooh, what impact. Beautiful technique. Boom! <laughs> I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Harsh impact. Slammed with authority. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reigns-Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody had to do it. That might be the end of Mr. McMahon tonight. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. No reverses it. It's no secret that Mr. McMahon can be brash, confrontational, and at times even explosive. At one point, Mr. McMahon had an exclusive club where members would kiss the part of his anatomy he uses to sit down. This might be it! Oh my! We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there, but only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? Byron, you touched on something earlier. Mr. McMahon can most definitely be vain, smug, pompous, adversarial. At one point, the chairman of WWE referred to himself as a genetic jackhammer. Byron, you showed up on television dressed like a baby. Who are you to insult Mr. McMahon? Mr. McMahon knows what's best for the WWE locker room and the WWE universe better than they do themselves. Sometimes you have to crack a few eggs if you want to make an um. If someone's table in play, what a clothesline! Ouch! And there's his speed paying off. Nope, reverses it. Ah, big time slam. Vicious. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no count outs in this one. Here it is. Suplex. This is what every competitor dreams of when they decide to get into this business. A match with the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania. A long way down. HBK looking to attack from the sky. Yeah, he's a superstar that can flip the switch and get out. Incoming. HB Shizzle! A vicious attack on Mr. McMahon right now. The situation just got real bad for Mr. McMahon. Well, if you were a good employee, Saxton, you'd go help him. As Corey mentioned, there's a sweet chin music. Boom! This one's over, God. Shawn Michaels gets the win. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's putting in the work. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, the Heartbreak King. That's an impressive win right there. You know, guys, I personally don't see this as a loss. Mr. McMahon owns the record books, so I don't think he'll see it as a loss either. And I'll tell you, the roof nearly blew off this place in Rosemont, and the bell finally rang to end this one.